Hey guys, today's sermon is called Spin Cycle. I am, um, it's going to be a bit shorter today because I'm a bit short on time, but let's pray. Father, I thank you for what you've done and what you're about to do. Lord God, I pray that even in this short sermon, I pray that you will just be the captain of the ship, hide me behind the cross. And Lord Jesus, I pray that you will show yourself strong today. In the name of Jesus, amen. Um, I was thinking today about how, not today, but a few days ago, about how our mind is like a washing machine. Like some, have you ever lied down in bed at night and just your mind starts to spin? First, you may think of one thought, and then it may spin into another and another and another until you you've got all these needless burdens on your heart and your mind, and it's like, um. And it's like you're creating this whole thing in your mind that hasn't happened yet um, because you're just thinking and thinking and worrying and worrying. Um, I remember this one time. My mom is perhaps the greatest lady ever. And I remember this one time because um, we, we pray together every night. So... I remember this one time she she didn't call me at the at the regular time to pray and I remember having this thought oh, oh my god she didn't call me what happened like did did she get into an accident um oh and if she got into an accident this would happen oh what am I gonna do and I remember my mind just spinning out of control with all these scenarios um, about how I wasn't going to be able to make it with my mom, without my mom, and blah, blah, blah. And suddenly the phone rang, and it was her. So I did all that needless thought spinning for nothing. And I think that's what we all do um, from time to time. Just, just our thoughts spin so much and we worry about so much that we can't control. So if you can control a situation, if you can do things about your situation, do those things. In, with the strength of the Lord and with um, with God behind you and have strategies and have plans but if you can't control a situation God is saying don't worry about it let me worry about it let me let, let me be your strength let me be your guide let me be the person who you can turn to. And I think sometimes we spin out of control because we're just so living in a world of anxiety. Um, with social media and 24 hour news cycles, it never stops. And it's a good thing. And it's a good thing when it comes to knowing the news and up-to-date news. But it's a really detrimental thing because you have people um, who are already anxious about their own lives getting these news cycles. And most of it is half-true news that um, they... Um, they want you to know to sell papers and be informed and whatever. They say be informed, but it's really to sell papers and to 
have you t tune into the streaming on their websites. Um, because um, the world of anxiety makes money. And because if you think about all of the things that make us anxious, like, will we have money for our kids? Will we have money for ourselves? Will we have money for our retirement? Will we have, will we leave enough for our kids when we pass on? All of these things spawn an industry. So, um, ret retirement spawns an industry responds an industry of oh we need a retirement plan or an educational fund or we need to put away savings and all that is good do that stuff it is it is very important but once you've done all that stuff and once you did your best for your life for your kids for your family for your home, why worry about it? I know, I know it's hard because I'm a worrier too. So when I'm saying this, I'm actually um, talking to myself um, because the Lord doesn't want us to worry. He says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health. And he also says, be anxious for nothing, but with all, but with, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, make your requests known before the Lord. So instead of worrying and living on the spin cycle of, oh, I need to, I need to do this. What if the world collapses tomorrow? What if there's a financial crisis? Do I have money? He said. He's saying to leave it all with him. Stop the spinning. Know it. Know that he's can. He's in control. And you know another thing that causes our mind to spin is stress. Um, the the Western society, like Canada and the U.S. and all those. Uh, Western thinking countries like England and parts, parts of Europe were so busy into the go, go, go. We go, we go to work, we go to school, we pick up the kids, we do our daily lives. We, we it's just on a non-stop level of go. And you you have a generation now that is not sleeping properly, that is not eating properly, that is just, we want everything fast, we need, we need it now, we can't wait. Like, we don't wait for stuff, we get stressed out if we have to wait five minutes in a line, we, we're, we're just a stressed out, um, society and I know other parts of the world um, take it easier than we do, but for us here in the West, we're just so stressed out. And stress produces heart problems, health conditions, we're sick, we're popping pills, we're trying to stay awake, trying to burn the candle at both ends, trying to be on our gr grind. And what well, what we have to do is stop, stop and at least take five minutes, and we have we need to ask, is this really important? And if we stop during our day to ask that question, is this really important? We'll we'll understand that majority of the things that we're stressing out and running around about are not important. And the things that are important, we can have strategies to help us cope. So if we have to get the kids 
out on time for school. Okay, um, let's build the strategy so that we don't get stressed out. Maybe laying their clothes and lunches out the night before or getting up an extra hour early making the lunches so we have time to chill out and relax for everything that we have to do that we is necessary to do there's a strategy we just need to figure out the strategy that works out best for us and our family and i think with strategy and with prayer and with understanding that we are not in this alone. We are not the only one with kids. We are not the only one with bills. We are we are not the only one with this issue. I think when we understand that, we can take it easy. And if we're worried about our finances, take a look at our budget. I know for me, warning, I'm not any kind of financial analyst or whatever. I'm not a professional, but I know for me, what I had to do is take a look at what I was spending my money on and what I could cut out or cut back on. And me cutting back on one thing, like, because at at one time, I had Netflix and Audible and all these other services, and they were coming out of my account every month. So I had Netflix, I had Audible, which is um, an audio website with all kinds of audiobooks, every audiobook you can imagine. And plus, I have Pureflix which is the Christian version of Netflix. So with all that coming under my account a month, it was taking up nearly $50 a month of my budget. So what I did was prioritize. I'm like, I can't continue um, to do this. So maybe I, uh, so, at first, I cut it all out, and then um, I signed up again for Audible. So instead of $50 a month, now I only have about um, $20 a month coming out of my account. And that's it. And instead of eating out every week, I treat myself to eat out maybe once or twice a month and the rest of the time on the weekends I buy something I don't usually eat during the week and that saves me money. See there are ways to de-stress without without um without too much trouble but we just need to stop and think about what is stressing us out and create strategies to get around the stress. The key to de-stressing is strategy. It's not worrying. Because sometimes when we stress out, we worry. But we need to create strategies to get around that stress. So, um, I'm going to um, pray for you and pray for your stress. And I hope... And my prayer is that you have a de that that every place is, that is stressing you out, that God will give you his strategy to work around that stress. And that people will come in your life life for with information to to help you work around that stress. And beloved, you're not alone. I just want you to to know that if you're stressing out and if you're dealing with anxiety, trust me, beloved, you're not alone. And even if it's um, medical-induced anxiety, there is help, there is hope, there is counseling, there are people just waiting to help you. There, it, th there's always a way out. 
beloved. There is a way out. You don't have to stay in this stressful spin cycle you're in. You don't have to act strong in the day and at night. Go home. Go home and in better fear shaking like a leaf like and your mind goes in your mind turns on the spin cycle use the detergent of the word i said i said to the lord today what do you want me to say to them he said to say to you guys use the detergent of the word so in the washing machine if you, your worries your clothes and your worries spinning, what do you do to stop the spinning? What is the detergent you use to get your clothes clean? Well, your mental detergent is the Word of God. Your Word is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your pathway. The Word of God giveth light and life. And for every situation you're going through, God has something to say about it. And he wants you to know to use the detergent of his word. And he, wa he also wants you to know your life is in his hands. And he knows what you're worried about. He knows your tr what you're stressed about. And he has strategies to help you with that stress. If only you were, were to ask, and he wants you to ask, and he wants you to just be aware that he loves you, and he's always thinking of ways to help you if you'd only ask. He, he won't intrude on your thoughts. You have to ask him for the strategy, and he, he said he, he gives wisdom liberally. All you have to do is ask, and don't be afraid to ask. Nothing's too stupid for God to ask, to ask the Lord about. Because I always grew up with, with this thing that certain things were too stupid to ask God about. Like, don't waste his time with that. But I realized in my own life that that is a lie. He's concerned about every single thing. And he has a strategy about every single thing. And he will teach you through other people, through his word, through different strategy, how to cope, how to deal with the issues that are worrying you. And he will guide you to the people that you need. So guys, Thank you for listening to my sermon and thank you for your support um, in my ministry. I'll see you next week. Bye. You don't have to worry and don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning, troubles they don't last always, or oh, there's a friend named Jesus who will wipe your tears away, and if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, Oh, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. With Jesus, I can take it. With Him, I know I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. I'll, I'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Take care. Love you.